This tutorial will go over how to optimize your GameCube for the RetroTINK 4K. As with other tutorials for this device, the RetroTINK 4K is an advanced scaler and you should read up on more information to learn how to use it. I'm linking the GameCube section of the RetroTINK 4K wiki in the video description so you can read on. I'm going over how to optimize the RetroTINK 4K for use with unmodded GameCubes playing authentic discs through component, then through a GC Video HDMI adapter, and finally, which settings to use between Swiss and GC Video HDMI adapters for a modded GameCube that runs Swiss. Before we continue, the best GameCube to connect to the RetroTINK 4K is any GameCube with model number DOL001. The best way to connect this GameCube to the RetroTINK 4K is to use an Xerection Industries Carby GC Video HDMI adapter, which gives digital video and sound directly from the GameCube. Any GC Video HDMI adapter will get you good picture, in case you can't get the Carby. The next best way to connect your GameCube to the RetroTINK 4K is to use an OEM component video or an OEM D-terminal cable with a D-terminal to component adapter. While you may be interested in using a third-party component cable, all third-party cables have issues that make them inferior to the OEM cable. Finally, if you are locked to a GameCube with model number DOL101, then you will have to settle for 240p or 480i using S-Video for NTSC GameCubes or RGB SCART cables for PAL GameCubes. Okay, so if you have an unmodded GameCube and you are using analog video to connect to the RetroTANK 4K, you simply have to follow these settings on all vertical resolutions. Set the sample rate to 3432 and the decimation factor for to 4 for NTSC content and 3456 with a decimation factor of 4 for PAL content. This includes enhanced us video, RGB SCART, and YPBPR component. I'm using the 240p test suite for GameCube to dial in my settings. Once you get these settings for analog, you're done after you dial in phase. Enjoy your GameCube games. Let's move on to digital video. To begin, I'm going to run the settings on the Insurrection Industries Carby using an unmodded GameCube. Set Scanline Doubler to off if it's available. Scanline Profile should be off if it's available. In Output Settings, Set Allow 480p mode to on, Enhanced DVI mode on, Display as 16x9 off, Volume 255, Mute off. Go back, select View all modes. Go into each setting and turn Line Doubler off and Scanline Profile off. Go back, select Advanced Settings. Set Chroma Interpolation off, Fix Resolution on, Fix Sync Timing off, Regenerate C-Sync off, Digital Color Format YC422, Report 240p as 480i off, Sample Rate Hack off. Go back and select Store Settings. Whenever you load up a GameCube game, you won't have to do anything except for the following cases. If you want to play in widescreen, set your game to widescreen, and in the RetroTANK 4K, go into the Scaling menu and set Aspect Curation to 16x9. If you want to scale the game in any way, use a different scaling method and scale how you want, leaving the scaling algorithm in 4x3 or 16x9 is up to you. Go ahead and enjoy your games. Now that we've gone over settings for unmodded consoles, let's talk about consoles that can run Swiss and our DOL001 models. Make sure you follow the instructions in the GC video section because most of those settings still apply. Swiss is an all-purpose homebrew software for the GameCube created by MU Kitted and Extrems. It allows you to load games from different storage media, including original discs, and allows you to run a number of options before loading your software. The important setting to use here is the Optimize for RT4K setting. This will force a game to output its frame buffer with no scaling and lowers latency a small amount. To make the most out of it, go back to the GC video settings and in advanced settings, set fixed resolution to off. Once you do this, most situations will be taken care of by the RetroTANK 4K. If you want to play a game in 16x9, set your game to 16x9 internally and then go to the scaling menu and change the aspect ratio to 16x9. The following games have issues with this, and you will have to make per game profiles and rescale the games horizontally in free scale mode to get the correct aspect ratio. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Now that you have your settings, enjoy your games.